and welcome back. So today I'm making a video that I initially was going to aim at people that are buying new saddles off me to show them how we can personalise the PUB saddles. However, I'm guessing actually it's applicable to anybody that's buying a new saddle and wants to know things that you can do to personalise them. Because whilst our saddles at PB Saddlery are really personalisable, so are a lot of other brands. So today I'm going to show you the bits on a saddle that you can personalise, what they're called so you know what to ask for, and just have a look at some personalised saddles. So whether you're buying a new saddle from us, buying a new saddle from someone else, or just interested in the sorts of things that you can do to a saddle to make it personalised, sit back, make yourself a cup of tea, and hopefully enjoy. So getting me in the camera and also the saddle in the camera is going to be the tricky thing. So what I might do is just take me out of the equation. Um, so I put mascara on for no reason. Um, and then I can show you the saddle. So I'll take this camera down and I'll show you the saddle closer up, I think. So apologies if that makes it really wibbly wobbly because I'm holding it in my hand and it's not on a tripod. But I can't really think of another way to do it. So I brought these two saddles in today. A black one and a brown one because these were two that happened to arrive this morning these are two new saddles that are going to go out to people and i thought they were quite good examples of personalized saddles really so these two saddles i've got here both dress our saddles they're both quite similar but they've both been personalized they're on slightly different trees they've got slightly different knee blocks but they're quite similar saddles otherwise so they're good they're a good comparison to show against each other when we're having a new saddle made, there's an awful lot that we can do to them to personalise them and to change them and to make them for you and you yourself. Remember, when we make a saddle from scratch, we can change almost anything. So if you want to have you know, bits and bobs, different leathers and all of that, then most of that is achievable. There are things we can do to make them fit the horse and there are things we can do to make them pretty for you. So we're going to look at today the things that we can do to make them pretty because the things that we can do to make them fit a horse really need to be done, need to be shown with a horse here um, and we're on lockdown and not allowed out so no horses here in the shed. Um, so I, today we're going to concentrate on those pretty things, those pretty details like the welting and the stitching and the things like that. Now the first thing that a lot of people change is the welting. People don't know what welting is um, so I'm going to give you the proper names for things so that when you see your saddle fitter and you order your saddle you know what to call them. So welting is the first thing we're going to look at. So this first one here we'll look at here. So this saddle here has pink welting. So the welting is this strip around the seat here. It also goes up around the back of the seat there. Can we see that? And this particular saddle also has welting through the keeper. So this has got like a really bright pink because the girl that has this is like me and she loves pink. So it has this really nice pink, pink welting. So remember this is called the welting and it comes up and it goes all around the back of the seat and it also goes through the keeper on this saddle. So if you wanted welting like this, which you can have in any color, it doesn't have to be pink, you ask for welting on the seat the cantle and the keeper. This saddle here also has personalised welting. This has like a beigey cream welt on a brown saddle which looks lovely against the brown. They have this beigey cream welt up through the seat, through the cantle but not on the keeper. So if you wanted this you'd ask for welting, coloured welting, so whatever colour you wanted you'd ask for it on your seat and your cantle but not your keeper. And that is the welting. Now other places you can have the welting are here, you see this here at the front of the saddle. So this is the front of the saddle, this here is called the front gusset. You can also have welting put up through here and that's called a welted front gusset. Welted front gussets are less popular than the welted seats um, and that is just because you don't really see it there. And it costs a little bit extra money to have um, welting put through there because it's a little bit more tricky to stitch up with the welting in it. And welting itself costs a little bit more than the normal thread. So not many people have the welted front gusset, but it is an option if you really wanted to kind of jazz it right up. But if I'm honest, you don't really see it because as soon as your number is on there, or your saddle cloth is on there, it kind of comes up and you don't see it. Now, facings. So there are things called facings on saddles. There's a rear facing, which is this tube here. Can we see this tube of leather that goes around the back here? 
and at the front is this tube of leather that goes through the front. So that is called facing, front facing, rear facing. On this saddle here, the rear facing is brown patent. This person decided not to have brown patent front facing, so she could have had this little tube of leather here, all the way down here, and it runs all the way down the front here, right down there. So that's called the front facing. This person chose not to have the brown patent front facing to match the rear facing, because it can get quite scratched at the front. If you think of when you put it up on your saddle rack and stuff and it scuffs on the wall, or when you put your saddle on the floor, sometimes people put it on that bit there, and when that happens, it can scuff the patent. I often recommend to people if they want to have patent facing, they have the rear facing and not the front facing, unless of course they want to go mega bling, which some people do and, that, and that's fine, I'm not judging. I've got it on my saddle if I'm honest. It's just not as well protected at the front, I guess. So it's at the back, it, it, you know, there's no problem with it scratching anything, but at the front it does scratch a little bit more unless you're very careful with your saddle. I'm not so careful with my saddle and my front facing is a little bit scratched. So again, you don't really see it in the front anyway, because once your saddle cloth is in there and pulled up through the front of the saddle, it kind of covers most of it anyway. So for maximum impact, have it on the rear facing. So quickly to recap, that's welting, that's rear facing, this tube at the front is front facing, and it goes down here. The next thing that is very, very often customised in our saddles is the stitching. So this saddle has had, had customised stitching in two ways. It has had a heart shape stitched into it, which is one of our sort of very popular patterns that we stitch into saddles. Can you see it's got a heart shape um, stitched in here with the stitching, and it's also got white stitching. So if this came as standard without any funky alterations on it, it would have black stitching here and black stitching, black stitching, black stitching. But this saddle has had white stitching with a heart pattern stitched into it. Now I don't know about other companies, but I know that um, we do the hearts and we were like the first to do the hearts. And I have seen another company now doing the hearts, but if I'm honest, our hearts are the best, the original and the best. So if you're not getting one of our saddles, don't get a heart, they're mine. I designed them. They're mine. Okay. This brown saddle here also has customised stitching. She has cream stitching and she's gone for a really simple pattern. On, on the Fury saddles we call this a universal finish but it can be called lots of different things um, and basically this is just simple but it's got a, like a little dent here so the dents in the padded leather here and the dent there is for your stirrup leather to go through your keeper. So you can see that she's got cream stitching Whereas this saddle here has white stitching. White stitching tends to look better on black and cream stitching tends to look better on brown. Or you can have plain stitching, brown on brown and black on black. I have to say, even with plain stitching, the stitch patterns look really pretty. You can still see them, they still stand out. We want to make more of an impact and if you want people to really know that you've got this personalised stitch pattern, then have coloured stitching because it does really stand out a little bit more. And another thing that we do is something called the cantle piece. So a lot of people, when you say, do you want patent on your cantle, they think I mean the welting around the seat, the back of the seat, around the back of the cantle. Um, but actually, you can have something called a cantle piece. So I'll just show you what that is now. So we see this one has got pink welting around the back of the cantle. Now, what you can do is have this entire bit of leather here this whole bit of leather here is called the cantle piece, and what you can do is you can have this a different colour or in patents. So I haven't got one in here today that's got anything on it, so I'm having to show you on a blank one, but you can get a patent cantle piece. So that looks really pretty as well, a patent cantle piece. Now this pink saddle has probably my favourite customisation that we do on saddles. It's a really good customisation if you want to customise your saddle to the max, and then don't want people to know about it, which is odd, I know, but it's like a really subtle, awesome customization. And this is what we call the length of gullet. So you know when you flip a saddle upside down, you see the two panels and there's that like channel down the middle, that whole length of that's got that's the gullet of the saddle. Did you know you can have that in a different color? Watch this. So this girl here with this awesome pink saddle with her pink welting has also got a pink length of gullet through the bottom here. So you can see that pink there. Now you can't see that when she's on her horse, but she knows it's there and I know it's there and that makes it super cool. So that's welting, facings, stitchings 
and then the gullet. They're the main things that we do in terms of personalizing your saddle to make it look different. So they're the cosmetic things. None of those things affect how your saddle fits your horse. None of those things affect how the saddle feels for you. All they do is affect how your saddle looks. They are just cosmetic, but they're very, very, very popular because let's face it, saddles are really expensive. And if you're spending all that money on a saddle, why not make it exactly how you want it? And why not make it so it's yours? It makes it less stealable because they're easier to find. It makes it much more you and unique. And then everyone looks at you knows that you've had that saddle made. I would say out of all the saddles we sell, probably 90%, more than 90% customise them with some fancy thing in some way. And in some cases, it's really subtle. For example, we, um, we did one the other day that was like a brown cob saddle and she had like a dark burgundy welting around the seat. And that looked so nice because you almost couldn't see it was there, but you also could. And it was just like, the burgundy and the brown look lovely together. People ask me all the time what colour should they go for and like I don't know it's up to you what colours do you like but what I will say is that some colours suit brown more and some colours suit black more. For example black is a much kind of stronger colour than the brown and therefore people that have black saddles that looks better with the stronger colours on so often people with black will go for white stitching whereas with brown saddles people tend to go for cream stitching because brown is a much softer colour. With black in terms of the welting colours like this one here has that will neon pink on black colors that look good are pink obviously looks good and everything um pink red like a real bright red looks lovely on black any of the brighter colors look really good on black and um, whereas on brown the more subtle colors tend to look a bit better so cream beige tan burgundy i will say that it's like we do like an aqua blue and i'll pop a picture up for that um, we do like an aqua blue color and it's a really bright color and therefore I would expect it to look much better on black but actually that also looks really good on brown it's a real nice it's almost like um, I don't know in the same way that teal goes with brown it just goes with brown really nicely um, so yeah so there are some examples what I'm going to do is whilst I'm talking I'm going to be putting some photos up of some different examples of personalizations that we can do and also you can pop along to our Facebook page and have a look on there because there's loads of examples and also our Instagram but I I'm a bit crap on Instagram but we do have an Instagram page and there are pictures on there as well so you can have a look at that for some ideas so whether you want ideas and inspirations for one of our saddles or from a saddle from somebody else you can take them a picture but don't take them a picture of my heart because they're my hearts and people are stealing my hearts and I drew them so if you're having a saddle done don't steal my heart have your own idea we did one the other day for example with a star on it that was quite cool and that's a horse called star so yeah so color it really depends very much on the color that you want people worry about resale prices but hey if you're buying spending all that money on a saddle make it what you want it to be you only live once don't take it with you and you know there's nothing really that you could do that makes it unsellable you know some people might hate pink but equally there's other people out there me um who would chop off their right arm for a pink saddle as long as you keep it within reason i don't think you need to worry about the resale value of the saddle hopefully you're buying a saddle for your horse you're going to keep for a really long time and these saddles you know and hopefully other saddles if you're thinking of purchasing another saddle but i know for sure that our saddles will last for a lifetime you know they're incredibly well made by the folks at ideal saddlery and they are just super quality leather and they'll last you forever and ever and ever i go out and fit saddles that are 40 years old and you know and it's actually what's wrong with them they've gone out of style it's not the saddle themselves have disintegrated the leather lasts forever it's such beautiful leather this video is just about the personalization you can do for the cosmetic things on a peewee saddle we also do other brands of saddles that do different types of customization for example we do custom saddlery saddles and you can have like diamantes and stuff on them so I'll do another video about that another day. And also cosmetic customization is only one really small part of the customizations that we do because actually a lot of the time the customizations that we do on saddles are to make them fit the horse or the rider or both better. When I get back out on the road and I'm allowed near horses and people again, oh, one day, um, then I'll do a little video about the customization so I can show you like the different panels and the different seats, how those things affect the saddle and the horse and the rider and all of that malarkey. Pumpkin likes pink, she's got a pink jumper on today, so she very much, if she had a saddle, she would have a pink saddle, wouldn't you, Pumpkin? Can you hear her noises? 
her sleeping noises. So if you're one of those people that's thinking of buying a PB saddle or has ordered a PB saddle and you needed some inspiration for where to put your colours and things like that, I hope you found this useful. Or if you're someone that's dreaming one day of having a customised saddle, I hope you found this useful too. And if you're someone that's popped along for the ride, then hey, hope you found it useful forward slash fun. As always, it's been lovely spending these last few minutes with you and I've got a bit of flocking in my mouth. As always, it's been wonderful spending these last few minutes with you and I hope you're all staying safe, I hope you're all having fun, I hope you've all got big smiles on your face, so take care and lots of love. <laughs>